Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just come to XLP once again. Thank you for your support. Okay, big little coins keep crew. So I did post this trade on Twitter yesterday. It's a perfect little trade to be honest with you. I'll go through this with you. Why I set this trade up, and you know, if you'd have gone short as well, you would have made money here as well. And I'm going to teach you everything I can in space. And there's always these patterns you can identify them yourself. Okay, so just here we've got the double M top pattern. Do you see that? An M double top pattern, a descending triangle, price compression really close to the apex right there, and then boom, you broke down. Now this was a short in itself. Okay. So so if you're looking at the chart here you could say okay well, i'm going to start to build short because you're creating lower lows here lower highs sorry and you're getting compression on this support okay with a potential descending triangle but equally inside of the triangle something happened okay and i've shown you this multiple times on the five minute on the 15 minute and it's highly tradable we got a death cross on the 10 and 20 ema now for those that don't know you know in the links in each and every single video description there's a tutorial on how to get these emas into your charts okay use emas the boss okay you can clearly see here in the uptrend coming up holding a 20 coming up holding a 20 boom break on a golden cross a little bit of extended big gaps in the EMA so you come back to them you just hold them as support but you start to fall through them it's when you start to fall through them you're looking like you were tracing a lot deeper than being an impulsive continual holding the EMAs up okay so it's all about support and resistance you can identify big gaps in the EMAs which tells you you're overextended on that time frame okay works on any time frame EMA is the absolute boss so just there we're putting a lower high and we're getting this price compression towards the apex of a descending triangle which is a bearish pattern and what we've got, we've got the death cross right towards the drop, okay? Now, what you do in this circumstance, you go short, you, you meet the technical target from the top to the base, you put your target in, and what you do, you go short with your stop loss on the previous swing high. And that's what I've always done, okay? Sometimes it comes up, it gets invalidated, you got stopped out, and that's the way it is. It's trading. But it's an opportunity. At this point, you go short, boom, short target was met. Don't be greedy. TP on that short target, because like I said to you, you get a quick bounce, come back up, and you've lost money from where you shorted. So this is trading ranges. Now, just here, the reason why I thought and I posted this setup was because of this big wick here. You'd filled the wick, you come back, filled the wick, and you start to come back up. Okay. Now, in this instance, this actually come up and we had a, some kind of big crash that came down and still made a higher low. So, this is why I said to people, put your stop loss on this swing low. Okay. With this, this bottom just there, put it on the swing low and target your resistance this level here. Now, why this level? Because you can clearly see that when you broke down, put the god candle through it boom big drop but you never back tested this support as resistance so this is always on the radar it's simple trading and technical analysis okay so this is a beautiful little trade that was executed on bybit or bitget is entirely up to you whichever platform you want to use but there's always opportunity to make money in this space so theoretically what's happened right now we've come up with it this resistance and we're beginning to retrace so one thing that will be really really bullish going forward for xlp is if we break this resistance and get through it taking out this eye this would mean that this is impulsive this is corrective when you're looking at another impulsive move which takes out that high which is beginning to start to look quite bullish if xlp did that so it's all about this retracement that's coming back right now this retracement off this level of rejection and resistance if this thing starts to come back and start to carve out some kind of reversal structure and ascending triangle down here then i would begin to build some longs at this position with my stop loss again down on this low for an impulsive move to the upside and it really is that simple okay so let's dive into the chart to see what we can see for xrp okay so looking at XRP on a fairly time frame now, in the moment I've, I've actually jumped into a short okay um you know there's a lot going on here for xrp at the moment i think that what we've potentially got some kind of flag possibly until we see something uh, invalidated in the charts right now for xrp so one thing like i said to you in yesterday's video i want to see this level of support which has now become resistance i want to see that become support before i get bullish about xrp again because i think potentially what we could be doing right now is flagging okay so we've come down and we're flagging okay and we're looking for some kind of continuation right here for xrp and i think if we do dump out of this we're going to sweep any lows and potentially take out that low and we've got a massive impulsive move to the downside and then you could almost guarantee that this was just some kind of a b c correction with another impulsive wave that's beginning here okay so i'm looking for the invalidation of this flag uh, that's coming up basically we've got this kind of push down we're flagging tightening 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 if we break down that you obviously you got another impulsive move to the downside with minimal targets all the way down there on the 1618 uh, 02657 for xrp but if we start to break up and we take out this level of resistance just there okay see this resistance just there and we start to turn that into support that's when i begin to get really bullish about xrp against you know the future going forward for xrp and i would look to re-enter my spot positions at that point okay so there's a little intraday trade you know i'll try and find these for you uh, just there's a lovely little uh, w bottom there broke out into resistance of this previous descending triangle 
double M top pattern like that and boom we turn it into resistance so right now this is just a good area a good technical area to go short on XRP uh, with your stop loss on this high okay then the negation of this potential short that I'm looking at right now could be if XRP starts to come up now if you take out this resistance just there this could begin to look a little bit bullish but the primary thing I'm looking for here is to close back above 04190 if we start to hold that support in a big big break for xrp that comes up the stairs and holds it support then i'll begin to get bullish again okay until then i think we're looking at downside here for xrp and you know it doesn't make me a perma bear or anything like that you know it, it, it's just technical analysis basically we're coming down we're flagging up we're getting tight compression we look like we want to roll again off this flag basically coming up the stairs so that's basically xrp you know i'll try and find all the trades for you but going forward if we was to see a big breakdown here in the markets and especially for xrp and you know this is just an optimal entry point to go short i do think that we've got looking at a minimal short down to this orange line and it's around about 6.81 percent short opportunity but i think if we do if we do start to see that okay this loss here where we do start to come down like this okay and we come down to this orange line and we stay down here like this and we're losing this ascending level support i think you're confirming the flag okay so you know where is the flag target so basically with a flag what you do you go from here all the way to the top to the bottom and then what you do you drop it from wherever the last point of contact was which would be here okay you drop it all the way down you can clearly see that we're pushing down to the 1618 in another impulsive move to the downside do you see that which is around about 02657 which sees you lose these lows which puts in a larger impulsive move from this high to this low and when i went through that with yesterday it's around about 023 cents isn't it so yeah i think xrp is looking a little bit bearish to be honest with you at the moment on the four hourly time frame given the structure that we're looking at i want to see it invalidated obviously before i can get bullish again uh, so right now you know personally i'm in a short on buy bit with a really tight stop loss on this eye minimalize your risk so where's my stop loss let me show you where my stop loss is right now so i've paid myself on that long off this low and right now i've gone short because this is a nominal level of support now confirmed as resistance so this would be a really optimal place to go short to come back down so why this area here where well, you can clearly see w double bottom pattern god candle broken out ran into key resistance and one thing you never did here is back test this as support okay through breaking it resistance so that is on the radar right now zero three six four four so you know regardless you come down you bounce start to come up whatever it's just an opportunity to make money in the space riding the waves down just like this was an opportunity riding the wave up this is going to be an opportunity riding the wave down now to invalidate that obviously xrp has to come up right now and take out this eye which sees your stop loss met and that's just trading okay so right what am i looking at i'm looking at a short opportunity on buy Bit. okay we're very minimal risk trade setup so my short is at the moment wherever it is for xrp i've opened it and right now my stop loss is on that high which is currently zero three nine four nine so that my stop loss is on that so you can clearly see if this thing does come up and takes out that stop loss it's like 0.81 percent loss for a potential seven percent trade going forward so that's basically trading ranges how you understand the update obviously the negation of this short is if this thing starts to come up right now starts to come up and breaks this orange line then i'll seriously think about my spot position again in xrp but until then i'm out until i see certain things in the charts here for xrp how you enjoyed that update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned remember you can do all this you can go long you can go short you can trade the ranges whatever you want to do make money in the space on a daily basis the link is in each and every single video description take care everyone back to another update on xrp stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye